This training video is brought to you by K Alliance. K Alliance provides high quality instructor led training videos for desktop, IT, and soft skills. Visit us online at www.kalliance.com to sign up for your free seven day trial. Be sure to like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thank you for watching, and we hope you learned something new. Real videos, real learning, real success. Queries are simply questions, but sometimes your questions span multiple tables. So you already know how to do a query with one table, but do you know how to do a query with multiple tables? Yes, the answer is yes, you do. You just might not know that you do. Let's go see how easy it is. So I'm opening up Access here, and first of all, it depends on your personal preference for how you query. You can do the same thing in the wizard or the query design. Let's start with the query wizard. So I'll go ahead and click the query wizard, and I just want the simple query wizard. I say OK, and I want to know who has ordered what. So I'm going to go to the customer's table. Oops, let me scroll up here. I want the customer's table, and from the customer's table, I want the company field, I want the first name field, and I want the last name field. That's all I want to know. Now let's put the city out there too. And I want to know the city that the orders came from. Now if you're only using a one table query, you would click on next, but we need two or more tables. So all we do is go back to the top and we select the second table. So the second table I want is orders. And then I have all of the fields from orders. And what I want here is the order date and the shipping fee. That's all I want from here is the order date and the shipping fee. Now again, if I'm finished, I click next. But if I want another table, then I go select another table. And I'm going to get order details as well before I leave. And from the order details, I want the quantity and the unit price. Those are the fields that I want in my query. Now, why do these work? These work because the three tables are related to one another. I have either already created the relationship or the rules are in place to create a temporary relationship. And the rules for relationships say the same field exists in both tables and in one of the two tables, it's a primary key field. So as long as you have the rules in place, you can establish a temporary relationship even if you have not created one in the relationship window. We'll go on to next, and when I click on next, it wants to know if I'd like to summarize or just show details. I want everything, so I'm skipping the summary. I'll click on next, and what do I want to name this? We'll call it um, query, I'm sorry. Well, I can't spell. Okay, in real life, you're certainly going to name things that make sense. And so for my real life, this does make sense. This is my multiple table query example. And you could go straight to the design view if you want, or you can open it and see the information. Let's go ahead and do the data sheet view. So I'll click on finish, and here's my question. Who, company name, first name, and last name, from where, what city, on what date, the order date, did they order, how much did they pay for shipping, what was the quantity, and what was the price? Now I, I skipped what they ordered. Okay, but I want to show you how you can fix things, so not to worry. Let's go to design view, and let's talk about design view for a moment. I'm going to go ahead and collapse my tools. At the top, you'd want to organize and set up your fields so that you can see all the items that you're in search of, and at the bottom, you want to be able to see your query grid. Now the query grid, I can't see everything too well here, so we can resize. I'm gonna see if I can do all of these at one time. Yeah, that's nice, isn't it? So now I can see everything on one screen. I'm able to identify all of the fields that are in my current query. And look what it tells me. Down here on this row, the table row, it says here's the table that your data came from. The first four came from the customer's table, the last two the orders, excuse me, the next two orders and the last two order details. If you made a mistake, you modify here just like any other place. So if you said, you know, I really don't need the city, you can click and you just hit delete and it's no longer in the query grid. If you need a new field, you just click on the new field, you double click and it'll become the last field in your query grid. Let me get rid of that, I don't really want it. Or if there's something specific that you want, what I want is, whoops, it'll be on this one, the order detail, the product ID, that's the field that I forgot. What did they order? And if you want it in a specific place, you can drop it into the design and watch what happens. I'm dropping it on top of quantity 
and it takes the place of quantity, moves the others over. So now what I've done is I have created the design I want in my query. Let's check it out. Hit save and Oh, you know, I don't have the button up here for running the query, so we'll right click. Oh, yes, I do, right there. I have the data sheet view. So we can go into data sheet view, and so now I can see, oh, it's a long product name, but that's what they ordered. So now I have all of the information that I was searching for inside of my relationships, excuse me, not my relationships, but inside of my query window here. Well, what if you wanted to create a query from scratch? So query design. Very simple. All you do is you determine which tables you want to pop out. So I want customers, I want orders, and I want order details. And then I click on close, and you see, now I have everything I need. The only difference really between using the wizard and doing it manually is that in the wizard, you still, you move the fields over, you select the fields in the wizard. Here, you would pop the fields down into the grid, however you want to pop them into the grid. The only difference. So it's up to you which way you prefer to create a query, whether it's through the wizard or whether it's manually designing it yourself. But now you know that it's quite easy to query with two or more tables, no matter whether the wizard's doing it or you're doing it the manual way. So grab those tables that are related to one another. Remember, that's important. You can see the relationships right here in the, in the grid. You can, excuse me, in the window, you can see the relationship. So be sure that the tables are related to one another, and then you can query multiple tables and get any question on the screen that you're interested in finding an answer for. We hope you enjoyed this preview video. Please click on the like button below if you did and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Be sure to visit us at www.kalliance.com to sign up for your free seven day trial today. You could learn a lot in a week.